Hi, and welcome to our next session in the uh, Call to Action Leadership Series uh, for group coaching. Today we're going to focus on vitality in worship. And I want to begin by lifting up a quote from the Apostle Paul. And this is from 1 Corinthians 14, verse 32. Paul says, when we worship the right way, God doesn't stir us up to confusion. God brings us into harmony. So we can tell from this passage that one of the qualities of worship that's very important to the Apostle Paul is the fact that it builds harmony instead of and division. And I find that a bit ironic applied to our context today in the midst of our worship wars and all the struggle over contemporary versus vital worship. And um, what would it mean for us to reclaim this, this uh, right way of worship that the Apostle Paul lifts up here? of uh, worship that brings us into harmony. You know, I really love what a friend of mine, Melissa Lauber, who's a creative, very creative individual, has to say about worship. She says, worship is that place where earth and heaven can meet. In worship, God breaks into our messiness. Don't you love that? In worship, God breaks into our messiness and joins us in our brokenness and creates a spirit of possibility. In the beginning, she says, God spoke a word. Worship is our response. So if worship is our response to God's creativity, why so often is our worship kind of rote and tired and uninspired? I mean, that's the question I want us to, to wrestle with in terms of worship vitality this morning, because you and I, you've been at it long enough. We've been preaching long enough to know that the challenge of creating a, a worship experience that's vital every week, I mean, week after week after week, is one of the greatest challenges that a pastor faces. Faces. That, that rhythm is, is relentless. And yet, creating creative, inspired worship is one of the most important tasks that we have as pastors. And so we know, and it shows, doesn't it? I mean, when you, when you sp take the time to really plan a worship service where all the parts fit together and you, and you throw all this creativity into it, that energy comes through in worship. And similarly, when we just kind of throw a, a worship service experience together that's just slapdash, uh, that comes through also. The, um, you know, in 2010, the Towers and Watson uh, Company was hired to do a study of vitality in, in United Methodist churches. They looked at over 32,000 United Methodist churches, and, and they realized that some...